guys and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you how to use the SP flashing tool correctly and install a custom ROM to your Chinese smartphone using a USB cable. So what you just need for this is a USB cable to connect your phone to the computer. Then you will need the USB drivers to um, detect your phone correctly. Then you will need the SP flashing tool and then you will need the USB diffue.exe file and you will also need a custom ROM you want to flash. So um, the download link for all this stuff is in the description, so just download them and then we can start flashing our smartphone. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is install the correct USB drivers. Before we are installing the USB drivers, we should clean our previous USB drivers. And we do this by um, running the USB diffue.exe file, so just do this. Then you go through all those USB files until you can see some MTK um, preloader or something. It must be here in the description, so just go down in the list and go down. And here you can see it, MTK um, preloader USB port and you just right click on this and then you go to uninstall selected devices. You have to do this a second time and then it's gone. As you can see there are no MediaTek um, drivers here installed. So now we have a clean system and now we'll install the correct USB driver. So let's close this. Okay, now you go to start, control panel and then you open up your device manager. Now leave the device manager open and then you go to your smartphone. On your smartphone be sure that the battery is removed and then connect your um, USB connector to your smartphone and take a look at the device manager. As you can see it should now detect your smartphone as MTK preloader, it must be somewhere here. For me it's installing the driver because I already installed the driver and when you can see the MTK preloader somewhere here you just go to your driver folder and run the installation file and then it should say install USB driver for Microsoft Windows and was successfully. If that does not work for you, then you do a right click on the MTK preloader. I don't have it here now because it's already installed, but you should see here somewhere here MTK preloader. And then you do a right click on this and go to update driver software. Then you go to browse my computer for driver software. And then you point to the um, driver folder. So just go to browse. And here you just have to point to the driver folder and then to your Windows version. As you can see there's um, a folder for XP, for Vista and for Windows 7. And Windows 8 user like me can just um, use the Windows 7 folder here. And then you can press next to install this. If you get a message that this driver is not digitally signed, then um, you have to do the following. Okay, so what you have to do is reboot your computer and at the booting process you hit the F8 button as often as you can and then you should come to the advanced boot options and at advanced boot options you just take um, disable driver signature enforcement and then you should have no problem installing your USB driver. Okay, after you've installed the drivers you can go to USB diffue to check if you have done it correctly. And if you've done it correctly you should see somewhere um, under description, it must be somewhere here, MediaTek preloader USB VCOM port. Okay. Then you can close this and now we'll start the flashing process. So um, when you have a ROM which you want to flash with the SP flashing tool then you have to extract this ROM and I will do this now. I will create here a new folder then I'll drag my ROM in there and now I'll go in there and do a right click on it and go to extract here. And a SP flashing tool, flash able ROM looks always like this. You have a boot image, cache image, recovery, and some other stuff, system image. And if it does not look like this, you have a um, recovery flash able ROM. And you can't use this with the SP flashing tool. But if your ROM looks like this, you're good to go. Okay, now we'll start the SP flashing tool. Be sure to run this as admin. And now we have to um, go to scatter loading. Just click on this and now you point to the ROM folder from it's on the desktop then new folder T and here you point to the um, scatter file the scatter file is usually a txt file and here press open and as you can see you now have um, everything in here 
and if you don't want to install the recovery if you have a CWM for instance then you can uncheck this but if you also want to install a recovery then you can check this so for people who haven't flashed their phone before, be sure that everything here is checked and everything has a path. Okay, then we can go on. You can go here to options, then download all, speed and force to high speed. If this is checked, then it's good. And now we will go to download. And now we have to go to our phone. Now make sure that your phone is turned off and the battery is removed. Then you take your USB cable and just connect it to your computer. And if you have installed the drivers correctly, then you should see um, this red bar here, which then turns um, yellow. And after that, after the flashing process is completed, you should see a, a green cycle. This process can take up to a few minutes, so just be patient, don't touch your device, don't press stop and don't shut down your computer. Okay, you can now see the green cycle and that means the flashing process was successful and you can now disconnect your phone safely. So just go to your phone and disconnect it, then reattach the battery and now you can start up your phone and see if the flashing process was successful. So maybe the first boot can take a little bit longer um, but if the booting process is under 5 minutes it's okay. Okay, so the booting process was successful and also the flashing process was successful and as you can see I'm now in my custom ROM and everything is working fine and I hope this tutorial also worked for you and if you have any questions just feel free to ask, post some comments and I hope you enjoyed it and see you again in my next videos. Bye!